so today I will be showing you how to get this bun out of some old tracks that I have. Now, before we start the video, please don't ask me how my tracks got like this. I have absolutely no idea. I usually braid it because it's a very long ponytail. I usually braid it up and then wrap it up into a bun. And out of nowhere, it just got like this. Like, I have no idea. And I was going to throw it away until I found this way to wear it. It's good for a messy bun. I don't have to tease it. I don't have to do anything, like, real drastic to it. So, this is the bun. Like, guys, when I tell you that this bun looks crazy or this hair looks crazy before I put it into a bun... So if you would like to see how I got my messy bun with some old raggedy tracks, then please keep watching. Alright guys, so I'm starting with my hair down. Duh. First I'm going to take my beat up water bottle that I stepped on. And I'm going to take that and just spray my edges. And I only want this on my edges because when I spray my edges, it helps it lay down flatter. Then I'm just going to take my brush and just brush all my hair back. And I'm going to brush my hair up into a very high bun. Then I'm just going to run my hands on the top of my hair and the back and make sure that it's all the way smooth and then wrap my hair tie around my little bitty bun <laughs> twice. Then I'm going to take my Cream of Nature Argon Oil, Perfect Edges, and a hair toothbrush. I do not brush my teeth with this, guys. And I'm just going to brush all my hair back with that product so that it is nice and sleek. And since I am doing a high bun, I do have some short pieces in the back that I have to put a little extra product on. And I'm going to clip those up with two hair clips. So I'm just going to put one on both sides of where I have the shorter hair. And as you can see, even though this is a high bun, it is not extremely tight. Then I'm going to take this hot mess right here and I'm going to fold the tracks in half and then stick the bobby pin through it and pin it to my bun. Now when I'm wrapping my hair around the little, my little bun, it's not precise. I'm just wrapping it around it just enough to cover my bun. And then we got Shanae up in here. So I'm going to take this hair and twist it very loosely. And then I'm just going to wrap it around itself. And I'm not doing this too tight because I do want this to be a loose, voluminous bun. So I'm just going to wrap it around until the end, until the end is all the way tucked under my bun. And then I'm going to take a bobby pin and pin that in place. And then I'm just going to separate the hairs and make it a little more messier, make it a little more bigger. You guys do whatever you want that um, fits your head shape, I'd say. I have a egg head, so I got to do it. And then I'm going to take my Tresemme hairspray and just spray along the edges just so my hair stays nice and sleek. And then I'm going to take, again, my hair toothbrush with a little bit of water and bring out my baby hairs. I like my baby hairs because it frames my face and it kind of diminishes the fact that I have a five head. Maybe? Do you think so? I think so. And that is it guys. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed my bun tutorial. Please like if you found this helpful, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Deuces! If you would like to see how I got my hair like this, then please keep watching. And this is why I can't film talk-throughs.
So if you like to see how I got this bun, then please keep watching. Seriously, Joseph? You guys, this is why I only do voiceovers. This is why. No. Get up.